right there in lane number five. Above him is McAvoy of Australia and one of the real glamour events of Olympic and World Championships swimming the finals of the men's 100. Good start by McAvoy, fastest of the group, 0.61. Condarelli also had a brilliant start. He's at the very bottom of the screen in lane number eight. Nathan Adrian came out pretty good. They are all bunched up as they hit the first turn. Huge wave of turbulence in the water as Condarelli had the lead. Oh, I'm liking Ning Zetao, too. Ning Zetao right there in lane five. Cameron McAvoy coming up, though, in lane four. Might have a slight lead on Ning Zetao below him in lane five. McAvoy of Australia trying to hold off everyone and here comes Ning Zetao in lane five I think he might be surging ahead of the Aussie at the end they go in with the man from China winning it and McAvoy settling for silver Nathan Adrian faded into seventh a tie for seventh for the American and defending Olympic champion everything said that McAvoy should win it but Ning Zetao had the turn. And what he does is he does such a good job. He's not that big of a guy. So he needed to get underneath the turbulence. But it is his closing speed that is so impressive and has been so impressive here, especially through the preliminaries and the semis. And you see him again right there. It just is so unbelievable to watch his last five meters. This guy, watch out, Dan. He is only 22 years of age. Watch out for him. Ming Zetao did serve a one-year suspension four years ago for doping when he was just 18, but at the age of 22, he rises above them all. McAvoy gets the silver, and Federico Gravich picks up the first world championship medal in history for Argentina.